So once again, you are welcome. And uh, because of one or two issues on this century stabilizer, I just want to like make another explanation on this. Now, this one I'm holding here, they brought it for me to fix it. And I just want to like verify something to know what is wrong. So let me on it and see. It has, look at the vibration. The vibration is high. It has a high vibration. I will tell you what is wrong with this thing and where and where to check first of all. But first of all, let me explain the board. Let me off it, explain the board before fixing it. And I will show you how I fixed it. Here we Let me remove the display. I just removed the display socket. Now, let me explain what is here. Where am I starting from? Let me start from this back place. Come closer. You see this, these capacitors. This one is for this one. You see a capacitor and a diode. A capacitor and a diode. The diode is connected. Each of this capacitor and the diode is connected across each of these relays. You see, one, two, three, will be one, two, three. Meaning the other side though will be at the other side. Then this diagram of how this thing works. I already have it is one of my ebook. But I will exp I will give you the diagram later. In another video for you to just understand the diagram and how this thing is connected to this and how this IC is linked to this relay I will do the I will show you the video so that you see how it looks like or if possible sketch it again so that you see now let me take it line by line I am done with this one look at it very well I'm done with this relay, with this. But let me start from the up here. This one, two, three, four are a variable you use to set your stabilizer. Now, each of these, the center leg you see is linked to either this IC or this IC. So, they are used to set. This one is used to give this IC. This is a LM324. I will draw the diagram of this LM324 for you to see how it looks like. But what we know is that this one will feed this one at one point. So, if you vary this one, there are the voltage difference across the variable. A variable resistor, the voltage comes in here, they are different. So this leg might be 0 volts, this leg might be 5 volts, or this side might be 5 volts, or might be 0 volts. As you are varying this thing, it's sending a voltage to this thing. This thing is a comparator, this LM324, and we compare the voltage at which you are bringing in with the voltage in the other app input before you get an output. The output of this IC is connected through a 2.2K to the transistor. Then from the transistor to this 33 ohms resistor. Then from this 33 ohms resistor to this relay. Let me come again. This one, the center leg is linked to one of the legs in this one. Then the output is linked with a 2.2K or 3.3K. To the transistor. Let me come again. This link to here, the output of this one through a 2.2K or 3.2K to a transistor. From this transistor to this diode. From this diode, uh, from this resistor. So from this variable to the IC, from the IC to 
through a 2.2 or 3.3 K resistor to the transistor. From this transistor, through this 33 ohms resistor to this one. This one is connected across the voltage, the DC line of the relay. One capacitor here, one this. So, by now, you have understand all these things. One, two, three, four, five. Four, one, two, three, four, five. Then, the transistors, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This one you see, they normally use it to, to add function to the delay line of the light. So one controls the light, while the remaining five controls the relay. What is again I've not explained? Among these capacitors, one or two of them are used to create the delay. When you own it, there's a voltage across the capacitor. But as it's charging, it's sucking up the voltage out of it. And as it's charging, 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 it lost voltage, sending the signal to tell the output to trigger. This is the output relay. You can trace it and verify. The majority of them is labeled out. Let me see. Out life. So now the next thing is how does this thing regulate again? Let me take you to the other part of it. If you look at this side, there is a, a normal AC line. This is the input enters this place. It goes to this relay. And part of it, a diode is being connected across. The diode, a 220K, is connected across. All these ones are to compare voltages. As the voltage comes in, all this one compares the voltage that comes in. Each of these things you see, they are connected in such a way that they are linked to this IC. So, so this IC that compares what is here and what comes from here. So if you have tried adjusting this, it did not work. Check out for these ones. Something, one or two is wrong here. We have another one inside the board, which is this. So I've explained the whole of this side. I've explained this. What I need to explain is how do you power this IC? If you watch this 470, this is 470 ohms. This is where they're using powering the IC. If you remove this one now, the ICs will short power. So this, uh, this is what send power to the IC. If you remove it, it shorts out. Now, the voltage that comes from this thing might be 12 volts. This one will take the 12 volts to the IC. But there is something that happens again. Immediately it crosses through the diode, uh, the resistor, the voltage across this thing is limited to six point. How, how come the magic? There is a Zener diode, 6.2 volt Zener diode, or 7.5 volt Zener diode that they use to hold that voltage ransom. And this one you see here, it is Zener diode. So if voltage line is not entering this place, check this thing. If this thing short circuit, it might burn off this thing. If there's a short circuit there, it might affect the IC or blow this thing off. When you see a bond here, check where. And I know the IC is affected or the Zener diode holding the voltage line is affected. Now, which one powers the board out of this diode is inside. Look through, you see a big diode inside. You see a big diode inside this one. This big diode is what controls the power on the board. So if your board is blasting, 
tear this diode. It's blasting fuse or cutting off fuse. But if the fuse is, if this diode is okay, check out for this relay also. One of them might short circuit the transformer and it will be blowing your fuse also. So these are a few things I want you to understand in fixing this thing. So in the next video, I will talk on, this is as if I've talked on this IC, but I will talk on it again. This IC, for the big stabilizer is 4069. I will tell you how that does the interpolation to have an output. So once again, see you in the next video where I will be fixing this thing. Okay.